brothers and teammates. I'm great, one of the members of the girl gang. Today, my teammate, Nashua Laya, and I will be talking about the leopard gecko feeding experiment. Let me start by saying a few words about leopard geckos. Leopard gecko are normally found in desert environments, such as Pakistan, Iran, and parts of India. They have been unique pets in North America since the 1980s. They lack adversity and have tiny claws instead, which gives them an advantage in sandy and desert environments. Leopard geckos feed on insects and worms. Juglings should be fed every one to two days and adult two to three times per week. We understand that different types of animals have different types of eating habitats. An appropriate diet helps an organism to grow well. What are leopard geckos' eating habits? So, we do an experiment to study whether the leopard gecko prefer to consume live or dead animals. My teammates will do further explanation on the experiment. Thanks for listening. Over to you, Nashua. We may want to know why they chose this experiment. We may want to know why they chose this experiment. We chose this experiment because we love that ghost, but we didn't really know much about the gecko, so we decided to do an experiment on what they get to see. Our hypothesis is that this gecko is going to be the animals, such as Wolves, the pets, roaches, and wolves, we think that they will be seeking to get animals. For this experiment, there are three items that we have to test. One, the last one, the death group. Two, the last one, the wolves, and two, the death group. We have to get the last one again over the three days. Uh, a life and a life a life and 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 a have uploaded to YouTube as well. Can you see our screen? Okay. So we will just play. <laughs> okay, now it's uh, Monday, 20 September, and we're going to start doing um, the online one. Okay, now we're going to do it with a bad one. Yes, it seems we won't do it with this one. With this one. Oh, okay. 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 Okay. Oh, no. 
Very good, continue. Yes, I got what I see in the video. It's not true. And I'll be showing the 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 results for the feeding experiment. Yeah, the results for the feeding experiment. All of the results are the same. When I fed the leopard gecko the alive worm, he ate it. So when I fed him the dead uh, uh, worm, he did not eat it. As gecko in nature, as gecko in nature only uh, eat a lot of live insects, they are the predators. How can they capture a part of their behavior? When a leopard gecko sees a bird superworm, it will not eat it and avoid it. By proposing is that the leopard gecko will not eat um, the bird or superworm, but only eat the live superworm. That, thank you very much. You are the, you, I think you are the only group uh, presenting with real life animal. Okay. It's a very interesting topic, especially for those that wanted to rear a new gecko. Okay. Yeah. So this is a findings you want to tell, right? To those people that are interested yeah, to get a gecko, what kind of food that you guys give, right? Correct or not? This is the purpose of the experiment, right? Okay. Now, uh, I will ask a few questions, okay? Because I'm very curious to know, okay? Yeah. Now, beside mealworm, what else you guys, I mean, normally feed a gecko? Uh, we can feed them and uh, some cockroaches or some whatever. Sorry, I cannot listen. Can you come nearer? We feed them some pickets and cockroaches and we also can feed them mealworms. Okay, did you for this experiment? Did you try to give cricket and cockroach? No, because we did not have them. Okay, okay, can okay. <clears throat> mm. Now, uh what is the conclusion of the experiment? Just now, I've not hear very clearly. What is the conclusion of the experiment? My conclusion is that the leopard gecko will eat only the alive superworm, but will not eat the dead one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Uh, I want to ask, I want to test. This belong to you, right, the gecko? Yeah. Now, I want to ask the next question, but I don't want you to answer. Can I not? I want to test the rest of them. Okay. Now, the rest of you, okay, see whether you all are paying attention or not. Okay. Is this gecko male or female? This gecko is male. Oh, it's a male. Okay. How old is this gecko? I'm actually not sure, but it's, I think it's like about one years old. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Um, I think I think it, it's good that you tell me the the information first, correct or not? Tell me about the whether it's male or female, uh like how like how um is it Grace? Who is Grace? Grace, like Grace to tell where to find this gecko, right? Is a very good information that you give me. Yeah, I really want to know that. And then you can give me more about introduce your your experiment. Try not introduce whether it's a girl, girl or boy. Yeah, you can give some fun facts. What is their uh, what do what is their uh, normally what they eat? You got tell me a few different insects. Okay, very good. What is the amount that they eat? Yeah, is it twenty cockroaches per day? You know what is the amount? It will be very. It will make me feel very interested on this topic. Okay. Yeah. Now. <clears throat> 
if you're given a chance to improve your experiment, what do you change? Mm, I'm not sure. How about the rest? I don't think I'm sure. How about the rest? Okay, okay. All right, all right, doesn't matter. Now, mm, so, insects, thank you. Oh, that okay. means insects, is it? You want to try with other insects, is it? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Good idea. Yeah, good idea. We can compare. All right. Why would you think, okay, gecko prefer to eat live insects compared to the dead insects? Because the live insects are like I I don't get your answer. Can you speak louder? The live animals, they will eat them because this is their behavior. Oh, you, you are saying that it is their behavior? Lah. Yes. It's not because of the dead insects got a very bad smell and, and it's not tasty and it's dry. It's because of the behavior, is it? Okay. okay. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, I don't have any more questions. Okay, I don't have any more questions. Job well done. All right. Now, if you are if you are uh, selected to go to group number two, I might need you to bring the gecko. If you cannot bring the gecko, at least bring the video. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that to show everybody. Okay, show everybody. It will be given extra marks. Is if you can do the experiment on the spot, like the video you show me, right? If everybody is looking at you doing the experiment, you're comparing a dead worm and a live worm and a gecko to choose the live worm, okay? It will be a lot better, okay? Yeah? Now, off the record, can I give some suggestion? Can I not? Can I give some suggestion, okay? I think the way you conduct the experiment can be better, okay? Can be better. Now, for example, all right, you can put two insects, one dead and alive, all right? Let the gecko choose. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? Instead of put one by one, you get what I mean? You still have put two at the same time, okay? See the gecko go the alive one or the dead one, right? Am I right? Okay. Now, another suggestion that I can think of is prepare an empty container. You get what I mean? Empty container. Don't want all the house, everything you remove. Empty container, just the gecko and the food. So that the video will be very clear. Correct or not? Yeah? So even though the worm want to go away, at least the gecko knows where to find the worm. Correct? Yeah? Now, to, I suggest to improve the accuracy of the experiment, you can repeat for day one, day two, and day three, at the same time, you get what I mean? Yeah, you feel that the experiment can be more accurate, correct or not? Yeah, maybe the gecko is not hungry, correct? Maybe the gecko is not hungry, okay? So you put it at the same time, you test day one at the same time, you put one alive worm, one dead worm, okay? Then let them, let the gecko choose. Test one, you're done already. Tomorrow, okay, same time you do the testing again. See whether you can get the result or not. If the result is the same for three days, I think your result and your conclusion will be more concrete, will be more solid. Correct? Correct? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, anything else you guys want to tell me? Uh, we did it three days at one, at one time. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. So all the result, all right, if can, okay, top plot it into the table and put it into the chart. Okay. Put it into, ch into the chart. All right. Okay. Okay. That's all from me. Job well done. Good job. Good job. Okay. We'll see next group already. Okay. Thank you very much.